Good afternoon, dear attendees, and good afternoon, dear participants. Um, we have 12 attendees of our session for this moment. And I would like to say hello to our dear colleagues representing the projects TREFSAF, SMALOG, and INTRES, and dear participants. Um, we are already launching our session of transport engineering. It's a unique opportunity for all of us, considering the number of projects, countries, and participants who joined today. My name is Vard, and I am representing National Erasmus Plus Office in Armenia. And today with my colleague Hatim, who represents National Erasmus Plus Office in Morocco, we will be hosting this session. In the current session, our colleagues of the projects will speak about the lessons learned and results of the projects implemented by them. Today's main topics are on how to strengthen the role of telematics in transport services for improving city sustainability and livability, quality improvement of higher education in the field of transport and traffic engineering, and how to create an infrastructure and system for training new generations of engineers who will be able to solve local and regional problems transport challenges of public administration institutions, industries, and private consumption in Uzbekistan. Before I give the floor to my colleagues, I would like to remind you that on the bottom of your screen, you have your individual settings. By pressing CC, you will be able to read the subtitles in English. Please note, this is not the translation. Those are just subtitles of the speakers. You can also make your screen full screen. You are highly recommended to write your questions on the Q&A section on the right side of your screen, which is uh, available for the attendees and also for the speakers. I would kindly remind all of our participants to keep their microphones on mute mode to avoid any noise during the presentations. Dear participants, you are invited to meet at the AMIT launch to discuss further collaboration after our session is over. Thank you for the attention and participation. I'm honored to give the floor to our colleagues of EU-funded Erasmus Plus Capacity Building in Higher Education Project, TREFSAF. So the floor is yours. Thank you, Ward, very much. Uh, I would like to greet you and all our participants of this session. I am here to present one of our projects, TREFSAF, dealing with the traffic safety in the region of Western Balkans. So if we if you don't mind, I would now share with you our PDF with our presentation. Um, my name is Neboj Arsic. Uh, I'm a professor at the Faculty of Technical Sciences, University of Kosovska Mitrovica. And together with my colleague, Dr. Aleksandra Petrovic, I will present uh, the results uh, of this project. You can see the title, I will not read it. Uh, let me first say that this consortium was composed of 16 members four of them coming from EU universities, eight Western Balkan universities, and four non-academic partners. Such kind of composition provided very good result, what you will see in our video presentation. So what could I tell you more uh, about this project? Um, when we have planned this consortium, it was really important to include all participants who can contribute to the uh, improved traffic safety in the region of Western Balkans. So, to do this, first, we had to, to make some kind of uh, analysis of traffic safety issues in Western Balkan countries. As you know, this is a very important issue which deals with our everyday life. Together with uh, our partners from European Union, we made this analysis in order to present one proposal how to improve curricula in higher educational institutions in Western Balkan countries, taking into account Bologna requirement, but also in our national acc accreditation standards in our countries who participate in this project. So what we have expected when we made this uh, proposal for this um, Erasmus Plus uh, project, first of all, we had in mind uh, to modernize and to implement new curricula, both levels, undergraduate and master studies, as well as to establish new laboratories dealing with traffic safety. So 
you will see what we have done uh, in relation with these things. Also, we have included the non-academic community, before all traffic safety professionals, meaning people who are dealing every day with traffic safety issues and transport engineering. So we uh, tried to improve their skills, also to strengthen their capability uh, to uh, transfer the knowledge to our um, students, future uh, engineers. And also we have contacted the labor market in our countries in order to find out what is the situation with employability of our colleagues who just graduated. Uh, can they find the jobs, etc. And also the overall goal was to enhance the level of competencies and skills of all participants in traffic safety issues. So uh, more details about this project and its results uh, will present my uh, colleague Alexandra. So now you will see the video. Ward, the floor is yours. You can present it, put it. Can we have this please, uh, video, please? Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aleksandra Petrovic and I am Erasmus Plus officer of the Faculty of Technical Sciences, University of Pristina and Kosovska Mitrovica, coordinator of the TRAFSAP project. Today we are calling from our TV studio, which is also result of one of our previous Erasmus Plus capacity building in higher education projects. But now I'm going to present to you project results of our TRAFSAP project. Within Work Package 1 preparation, different types of reports have been created. Reports on the status of traffic safety in Western Balkan countries and reports on analysis undergraduate master curricula have been created by our Western Balkan partners. Reports on established practices and innovative practices in traffic safety in EU countries have been prepared by our EU partners. Catalog of competencies also have been created. List of equipment to be purchased by Western Balkan Hays have been created and based on suggestions of our EU partners and Western Balkan non-academic partners. Three-day workshop has been organized by University of Maribor, leader of Walk Package 1 preparation. Within Walk Package 2 development, eight TRAFSAF catalog of competencies and eight TRAFSAF syllabi have been created with 54 new or modernized courses bear 343 ECTS. As a final result, we have five undergraduate and four master study programs accredited or re-accredited within our project. One of accredited master study program is added value. Six trainings for teaching staff have been organized within our project with more than 260 participants. Eight laboratories established with state-of-the-art equipment and report on improvement of teaching environment and equipping labs have been created. Within Walk Package 3, we have prepared and conducted questionnaire of citizens and public sector awareness in traffic safety. 1747 questionnaires collected and four reports on survey results per each Western Balkan country created. EU partners prepared reports on long-life learning for traffic safety professionals. As the final result of this work package, training materials designed and printed by Western Balkan case and teachers selected for trainings. Five handbooks, leaflets and brochures have been prepared by our Western Balkan Hay partners. All training materials are bilingual. Within Walk Package 4 implementation, Western Balkan Hays enrolled 364 students and prepared 16 quality reports on undergraduate master curricula per winter and summer semester. 14 trainings for traffic safety professionals organized by Western Balkan Hay partners and 14 quality reports on trainings for traffic safety professionals prepared.
plan created. Two annual internal project quality evaluation reports prepared. Six reports on internal quality control visits by leader of Walk Package 5 have been prepared. Six monitoring visits by national Erasmus officers in Bosnia and Herzegovina, Montenegro and Kosovo have been organized. Quality Assurance Committee meetings have been organized. Report on external evaluation have been prepared. Inter-project coaching meeting have been also organized. Dissemination and exploitation. So far we have created our dissemination and exploitation plan as well as academic and financial sustainability plans. Project website and promotional materials created. All partners have banners on their websites for TAFSAF project and all materials, information and documentation are available at TAFSAF project website as well as on TAFSAF project social networks. So far, about 50 different dissemination events and activities have been realized. 14 promotion video materials on local and national TV station have been published. Five TAFSAF newsletters have been issued. 10 info days for promotion of student enrollment have been organized by our Western Balkan HE partners. 16 promotion events or trainings of traffic safety professionals have been organized. So far, we have one promotion event of traffic safety in Western Balkan countries organized in Banja Luka. Walk Package 7 Project Management Kickoff meeting have been organized by coordinators of the TAFSAF project. Representatives of TAFSAF project participated in grant holders meeting. Five steering committee and project management committee meetings organized. Guidelines for the project management and reporting created. TAFSAF project has been presented in three cluster meetings organized so far. One in Duras, Albania, one in Pristina, Kosovo, and one in Banja Luka, Bosnia and Herzegovina. Also, we have submitted technical reports at the midterm of the project. During the course of the project, we faced some usual challenges as well as challenges due to coronavirus, which seriously affected implementation of some of the project activities. Thanks to additional actions, which include organizing of hybrid meetings, online project management meetings, and intensive communication with all of our TRAFSAF partners, we managed to overcome successfully all these challenges. All above mentioned confirm that if you have good cooperation between project partners, it doesn't matter if you have challenges, it matters if you work as a team. That's all by my side for today's reporting. And now we are going back to Professor Arsic, coordinator of the TRAFSAF project, who will tell us something more about project impacts. Thank you for your attention. Thank you, Alexandra. Okay, now I will start again uh, our presentation just to continue a couple more slides. I hope you liked uh, the presentation we have prepared. Uh, thank you to, to my colleague Alexandra again. Now, okay, we will continue from here. So what was the impact? I will not read this number because uh, you can read it uh, from the slide, but just I, I would like to say that um, we have organized those trainings of teaching staff and the workshops, as well as uh, trainings for uh, traffic safety professionals. You could see the numbers of uh, academic and non-academic staff uh, who are trained uh, through our meetings and uh, workshops. Uh, very important thing is that the uh, number of direct beneficiaries in partner countries uh, is really high. You could see how many staff and students we have enrolled in our partner university in Western Balkan countries. So the number of enrolled students is really impressive and uh, the word has spread uh, about our new curricula and it is really now very popular amongst new students, newcomers, and we are very proud on the results of this 
project because it has laid a really good foundation for for future improvement improvements in this area you could see that uh, more than 240 traffic safety professionals have been trained as well as that we have encompassed more than 400 uh, people included in dissemination events as well as we have a really strong impact at institutional level meaning all our participate participating institutions we have new and modernized courses both on uh, undergraduate and master level we have new laboratories we have new handbooks we have new laboratory material materials teaching materials in form of some kind of books and uh, leaflets for students also uh, we have um, some kind of uh, plan uh, measures planned for the future before all we, we will sign a memorandum of understanding be between all our traps of partners uh, as well as some other participants uh, we will also include uh, our participants from non-academic uh, partners also we plan some joint future research projects publication and conferences uh, we plan also new events, dissemination event in Banja Luka and Koponik Mountains in Serbia. Also, very soon during this month and next month, we will have traffic fair uh, and conference in Human City in Ovin Sad. We will have a, a conference about participation of women in traffic safety in Serbia, as well as we have some kind of uh, expo test planned for 2022. So, it is all by our side. Thank you very much for your attention. I would like to thank uh, Vard and Hakim for uh, their efforts to organize this meeting. And I, th I hope that you have been satisfied with our presentation. If you have any questions, we can t talk about it later. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. So we will give the floor to the next project now. Thank you very much. Now I will share my presentation. I am Antonio Coni, and I am a pleasure to share with you the Vmalog project. The Vmalog project is as a main ob object is to implement masters in smart transport and logistics for cities. Before, let me present the, the, the consortium. The consortium consists of, of 11 main partners from diff five different countries, Italy, Germany, Poland, Ukraine, and Georgia. Then we have also two, part, two associate partners organizations, one from, from Ukrainian and Ukraine and one from Georgia that allow us to have them to manage uh, to have a direct link with uh, with the society. Uh, Malug, uh, why Malug? Malug uh, was born uh, after a very in-depth analysis carried out in Georgia and with our call in Georgia and Ukraine, thanks to the effort done by our colleagues. In particular, we experimented and tested the city sustainability issue is more consistent than the other part, and of, um, in particular, both in, uh, in Ukraine and Georgia. The problem related to the research legs, for example, our colleagues and our were quite far from the international research network, as well as educational backwards. That uh, and the, uh, the increasing demand from the, the local, private, and public stakeholders to have expert in um, transport and logistics that uh, we able to use uh, to exploit the opportunities offered by telematics. According to these main issues, the main needs that we carefully identified, and we proposed this project that was co-funded by the European, uh, European Commission in, in, um, in 2017. Then we started in October, official date is 2017. This is the kickoff meeting was quite interesting because many of, um, many of us had low experience in international project and but also was guided by interest, curiosity and enthusiasm. Then we started with the, before to start, 
we found a lot on we think about we thought on about the problems that we at, at the beginning it seems as is very 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 big but after we define we build a very excellent team that working together we are able to go ahead and as we can see during this presentation we reach very very good results the main topic is was to strengthen the role of telematics in transport services for improving city sustainability and livability and the project was built on five main pillars, definition and implementation of Malog Masters um, that um, the, provide a good answer to real needs from the Uk Ukrainians and the Georgian in the, in the society, to define and to train for their trainers, Malog Laboratory, operate dissemination and as well as exploitation. Moving from the Malog Masters, we define in we have four part of the high educational institution in four in Ukraine and two in Georgia. And we they had implement and we implemented different mastered courses in, on 20, 120 and, and 90 credits, and which were based on Bologna projects. This is, was the main topic, and we did a very hard task before um, to start because we have some issues related to the no existing master of matters transport and logistics both in Ukrainian and in Georgia. We have a master curriculum needed a formal program by the, um, the, the national authorities. We have no material, no teaching materials. We have, as I said before, the, our colleagues were mainly out of the main worldwide expert research. Out, but this is, and then we had also the pandemic also in the last year. Then, but we go through these problems and we did some achievement. In particular, we implemented this master program, so one of the specific for each with the, the, the common outcomes, but specific according to the real needs and to the, the real situation, the real needs, as well as the, the that can exploit the real the skills and, the, and attitude of our colleagues. And we define new and upgraded course disciplines and all courses, all program were received the formal approval. Then we had a lot of, now we have, we are at the four edition. We had a master um, about 70 graduate students from the first two edition, and more than 80% was employed in Malo related companies. Then we, many of them allowed to visit European countries to study and to obtain, and all the activity were fully recognized in at home institution. As well as um, the, I would like to pass to my colleagues, Maria, for providing a, for the, you a, an overview of the other pillars that um, the, on that we cause, we build our project. Please, Maria, you can go. Hello, everyone. Uh, I just share presentation again. Mm. Yes, uh, uh, I'm uh, Maria, representative of uh, local coordinator from Kharkiv, Ukraine. And uh, it's a pleasure for me to share with you detailed achievements of our project. Uh, let me introduce uh, uh, continuous of our achievements. Uh, all outcomes that uh, Antonio just uh, described, we obtained uh, due to fruitful collaboration and professional team. Uh, the first um, pillar 
Mars uh, was uh, to train uh, trainers uh, for supporting local academics in planning uh, masters for uh, knowledge transfer, smart transport and logistics, uh, good practices in European Union, uh, for supporting local academics in defining learning materials, and for supporting local administrations in the development of international quality assurance system in uh, high education institution. Um, how we get uh, uh, there? Um, 51 academics uh, partner from partner countries uh, spent one uh, month and a half in each European Union universities for developing teaching materials for master classes. Uh, the second achievements is uh, visits of European academics in partner country universities, providing lectures, consultations for students and staff. Also, it was organized technical visits to uh, European enterprises for partner countries uh, teachers due to developed uh, uh, distance uh, learning uh, advanced courses 73 staff from partner countries uh, institution participated uh, uh, this course and received a certificate uh, you can see here yes uh, uh, we organized uh, uh, after skills upgrading, it was organized the webinars of teachers' experience uh, exchange between Euro Ukrainian and uh, Georgian universities. Uh, it was published textbooks uh, such as uh, guidelines, books, uh, uh, lectures, notes, and other uh, teachers' materials. Uh, thanks to European uh, uh, partners, it was improved uh, quality assurance system in each uh, partner country universities. It was uh, published uh, guidelines, provided external evaluation feedbacks uh, for from teachers, from students, and uh, other stakeholders. Uh, the third two pillars. Uh, of uh, our uh, achievements, it's uh, small laboratories uh, for to support both uh, training and research in smart transport and uh, logistics. And uh, we investigated local needs and identified in innovations to promote and design laboratories uh, with uh, modern equipment. Uh, as a result, we have one laboratory for each uh, six universities with modern software, hardware, special equipment, and uh, books. Uh, uh, the next, uh, our pillars, it's uh, dissemination activities. Uh, these activities allows us to share our experiences through the uh, webinars, uh, uh, Facebooks, uh, Twitters, uh, you can see here uh, our website. It was organized uh, open days. Uh, we participated in the Erasmus Plus days. Uh, also, it was organized uh, local uh, seminars in local university with uh, employers, uh, with students, and uh, total number is about 13 seminars. Uh, they devoted to our uh, results. Uh, the, uh, one of the crucial uh, pillars of our project is uh, uh, setting up uh, Smalok networks. Uh, it allows us uh, to build uh, uh, 
professional network to participate in high-level conference uh, on transportation and advanced educational issues. We published uh, papers in high-impact in journals, uh, indexes in Scopus, Web of Science, participating uh, in Fulbright project from uh, one of the, our uh, participants. We uh, uh, we are and uh, now active uh, involvement in uh, thematic workshops uh, that uh, organized with uh, international experts on smart transport and logistics for cities. Uh, also, we have uh, signed agreements of cultural and scientific collaboration between each partner country, educational institution and uh, European institution. And uh, now we uh, come back to our questions and uh, are we close uh, to the target? And uh, our answer is definitely yes. Uh, what uh, uh, did we obtain? We obtained Smolok Master programs that accredited we train to trainers. We have level laboratories, we have a strong uh, relationship and a network uh, for our uh, science. Uh, of course, we disseminate all our activities and uh, we have uh, quality improved our international quality system and uh, we are confident in uh, uh, implementation of uh, internalization strategy. Uh, thank you a lot for your attention. And uh, now I leave the floor for the next project, uh, the project uh, interest, please. Thank you very much. Let me present our presentation. Assalamu alaikum. Hello, everyone. Thank you for organizing this event, uh, which is very good for uh, presenting the project results. And uh, little about the project, Intelligent Transport Systems, new ICT-based master curriculum for Uzbekistan in Trust. Uh, development of the transport systems is very important for Uzbekistan. In recent years, there are many changes in Uzbekistan and economy, transport sector, increasing in car factories, growth export and import operators, uh, as well as geographical location of Uzbekistan requires the development of the country's transport system. Uzbekistan is among the few countries uh, which has access to the sea routes through two countries. This condition requires to develop uh, an automobile and railway transportation. Therefore, the issue of ICT in transportation and training of personnel with ICT skills and knowledge is was a very important issue. In this regards, the government of Uzbekistan gives special attention to development the transport sector and the training of engineers in this field, in particular. Uh, for the past five years, the government has uh, made three resolutions and these resolutions set goals for the efficient use of ICT in transportation and strengthening ICT companies and the training engineers in this field. And the interest project was developed and realized in order to successfully implement these tasks and for training engineers personnel in accordance with international standards. And the uh, interest projects was designed uh, from the 2017 2020, and it was extended for one year due to the pandemic. And it is a national project involving the uh, four countries uh, the, from European uh, partner countries. They are uh, Poland, Slovakia, and Austria. And these are our university partners. They are Gdansk University of Technology. They were coordinator and Jelina University and Kalaikanfut Universities. Also, there were six universities from Uzbekistan, uh, two of which were merged uh, to form a new transport university leading five national universities and the Jan Machine Building, uh, Gizak Polytechnic Institute, Termes State University and Tashkent University of Information Technologies. Uh, also, four non-academic partners have been involved, including the Ministry of Higher Education, 
the Uzbek Agency for Optimal Ground Transport of Gizak Department in Azores, and also associated partners in the project were uh, General Motors of Uzbekistan, Joint Stock Company, Hermes City, uh, Fast Transport Company, Gizak, regional branch of the Young Seers of Uzbekistan. The specific objectives of the projects are developing a new master curriculum in ITS, capacity building in uh, ITS of uh, in uh, six Uzbek universities, also establishment of new laboratories in ST based in intelligent transport systems, also establishment and network among European and Uzbek universities and public societies, institutions, organizations and enterprises. And also over the past four years, the new master's program has been developed and training has been organized at all partner universities. The project uh, has developed 28 courses and introduced them for these master pro programs. It was planned 12, but we made 28. Also, in all six partner universities of Uzbekistan, in the master program, uh, 148 students were enrolled. Uh, where 25 of them are already have been graduated and started their careers in production and universities. And they are our colleagues. And five advanced training courses for enterprises staff have been developed, and more than 30 employees have been trained. Also, in this slide, you can see the image from project activities. In all partner universities, meetings were organized. You can see images from the trainings from Gilina, from Klagenfurt, but in Gdansk, in Poland, we couldn't uh, travel because of the pandemic. And besides, the online summer school has been organized. And it should be noted that uh, in addition to the meetings planned in the project, additional meetings were organized only for Uzbek partners, where current issues were discussed and mutual assistance was provided and uh, this was practical help for less experienced partners. And also, uh, one other important achievement of the project is the establishment of cooperation between the ministry, university and enterprises, including students' internships, the formation of dissertation topics, thesis, joint research, and the involvement of specialists from production of lectures. Also, participation uh, of the Ministry of Higher Education in the project consortium helped us in achievement of good results of the project and in dissemination tasks. And here in this slide, you can see the general achieved results in numbers. They are uh, three new master, cur master curriculum in ITS. Uh, it is three because of the uh, it was for railway transportation, automobile transport systems, and intelligent uh, information communication systems were developed. Also, six new laboratories were established. Twenty-eight new courses were developed. Uh, six new master programs were developed and implemented. Um, students enrolled, staff trained. You can see the numbers. Some challenges also we uh, saw in the project implementation, they are due to the relative backwardness of the region. Uh, new master specialists, new master programs were organized in the first phase in, the, in three capital universities. Uh, and next uh, year, they were organized in three regional uh, universities. There were no foreign currency bank accounts uh, until 2017. And this forced the new regulations to adopt and some delays was in the equipment purchase. Also, the COVID-19 pandemic uh, also affected the timing of our project. Uh, but it was just uh, we had to host some events online. And at the beginning of the project, uh, the information about uh, the project was reported to the academic councils of all partner universities and the project activities results were uh, was provided in the faculties in the department meetings and the project was uh, broadcasted on central and regional tv programs also 
uh, more than 20 articles just about the project have been published and it was reported uh, in national and local publications uh, in particular in annual books of national erasmus of uzbekistan uh, national erasmus offices of uzbekistan also uh, news in newspapers uh, information was published also uh, interest took part in all these many events of new uzbekistan and all information are uh, Posted, all information is posted on the website of the project in trust.us. You can watch it. And one of the important results that was holding an international conference of actual problems and prospects of the development of intelligent information communication systems in coordination with the ministry, uh, which was uh, covered not only academic issues, but also scientific issues and in the field of ITS. Also, it was agreed and it is planned uh, to organize this conference uh, once in two years. So this year it would be uh, for another project and next year we are going to organize and everybody are welcome here. And also one main achievement uh, our project is uh, on the basis of main achievements of interest project it was published the book uh, Intelligent Transport Systems Master Program for Uzbekistan, uh, which even I can show you here. Uh, it is uh, includes uh, the information about the project, uh, selected aspects for common track courses, also Uzbek partners' contribution to knowledge. And also a video on the results of the project has been prepared uh what some parts of which we can show you here i'd like to ask ward please if you can i'll turn off my presenting Projekt INTRAS jest rezultatem międzynarodowej współpracy akademickiej dziewięciu uczelni z czterech państw – Polski, Austrii, Słowacji i Uzbekistanu. Uzbekistanu transport i gwoździany się, mili akcjonatyng uz się, we umumę i sztymori gwoździany się przyjąt halkalu się achimiatki jej. Unsere Universität, die Universität Klagenfurt, betrachtet das Intras-Projekt als ein sehr wichtiges Projekt zum Kapazitätsausbau für Usbekistan. Chinesische Universität Jelenie wurde durch die Förderung dieses Studienprogramms seine dreijährige Expertise in der Bereich intelligenten Dokumentensysteme. Thank you. And I will just continue. Sorry that it is from the beginning. So the study will continue in the newly established master's programs as they were accredited in the Republic level. Also a good cooperation between the partners will all of us uh, to continue to create new joint projects in particular a project uh, is going to develop an interest PhD, uh, is going to prepare and uh, for new call of Erasmus Plus. Mobility projects are ongoing. We have several mobility projects. A new master's degree agreement have been signed. Also, uh, the seminars were conducted for non consulting transportation enterprises on ITS. Uh, agreement between our one institution with summer administration signed on applying the ITS. Also, double degree agreement between Klagenfurt and our university uh, is already uh, going to be signed with five master's study programs for 10 students can be enrolled uh, a year. And also 12 high quality joint scientific publications in Scopus Index journals have been uh, produced and published in these journals. And also a course supervision of two doctor of, C, doctor of science and three PhD and two master's students are ongoing. Courses developed under the project are recommended as selective courses for 
other related education directions by the Ministry of Higher Education. Also, same master programs were organized in two non-consortium universities. They are Tashkent State Technical University and Namangan Engineering Construction Institute. And thank you for attention. That's all from me. Any, any, any questions? And I think it's time for question and answers section. And if you have any questions. Dear attendees, I thank you very much for the presentations, dear colleagues from the projects. And dear attendees, I would like to remind you that on the right part of your screen, you have raised hands, so you can use this option and we will give you a chance to, uh, to be visible on the screen as well and to interact with our colleagues. Uh, for the moment, we have 17 participants uh, waiting for the questions, but before our participants would raise a question, I have a question for you. Just, it was a really very interesting presentation and the national project. We heard about the achievements, the results, but I just wanted to ask you to mention in one sentence, which was the key result at national level, not the university level, as several universities from your country were involved in the project, but right at the national level, uh, which are the results of the project? Thank you. So I think it is for me. <laughs> and yes. <laughs> <laughs> for Uzbekistan, it is very important, as I mentioned in the beginning of my speech, that this project is built under the uh, orders of President of Uzbekistan. And it helps us uh, developing ITS system uh, as intelligent transport systems of Uzbekistan. And this is very big thing. And also it gathered all Uzbek universities, which are partners and non-consortium non partners being together and develop uh, one atmosphere and one group to develop ITS system of Uzbekistan. And that's why I think uh, it helped us to make agreements between our universities, also between uh, European universities. And uh, as I mentioned, we already signed uh, very good cooperation agreements, uh, which is which helps our students to uh, go to trainings, even I myself got uh, the scholarship from our uh, ministry uh, to go to Klagenfurt and make training. So it helps to make uh, internationalization of our even uh, direction of ITS in Uzbekistan. Thank you. Thank you for your answers. So. We are still waiting for our colleagues, for our attendees to raise their questions. Yeah, I would like to remind you that you can either write your questions in the question and answer section or chat or can just raise your hand and I will give the floor to you so you can have a speech and interact with our project partners. And my next question goes for a small project. Uh, you have mentioned about several results. You have mentioned that you currently have the master degree programs. Could you um, tell us how you think the sustainability of these uh, results will be will be achieved and will be ensured uh, during uh, after the project is over? Nadia, do you want to, to reply, given that it's uh, Yes, uh, with pleasure. I, uh, it's better. Uh, yes. I think that you are very involved in sustainability. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, first of all, uh, 
we are have accredited our program by uh, ministry by uh, national agency we are planned to enroll one generation now we have uh, regularly each year we are uh, enrolled students for this specialty we have laboratory that uh, used and uh, after project lifetime will be used we have uh, collaboration with our local authorities now we uh, due to this uh, training in our teachers so that participated and um, um, was in mobility with uh, European colleagues. Uh, we have experience uh, and upgraded skills and uh, our teachers, our scholars now developed uh, sustainability, uh, sustainable mobility plan for Kharkiv together with local authorities. Uh, this is uh, one of the big results uh, after the project life lifetime that we are not planned but we have um i don't know um I... what i forgot <laughs> then you have to if i can add because mm -hmm. they generally we have to involve to try to involve during our project the mainly private and the public stakeholders in order to have the opportunity for them to ask to to experiment directly the innovation that the, the program produce and this is well, as maria said one they, they had the opportunity to become um, to have uh, a consultant and, uh, for the municipality and other diseases in Kharkiv. In the other cities, it happens that many of our colleagues have the agreement with private delivery distributors and so on. That is, and of course, another important aspect is that the institution is pay a lot of attention given that many part of the laboratory also the project for a so for a seen a large a, a large budget for an improvement the equipment part of this was co-funded directly by institutions and by the opportunity offered by local stakeholders to participate in in um, testing and in the involvement for providing new expert in such field. This is, and for us, it's a good, quite good for um, a law project to continue after the fundings received by the European Commission. Thank you, Professor uh, Antonio. We have a question here in the question and answer uh, section. I will show it right away. We have a question from Dr. Aziza, and uh, here it says all three projects have achieved impressive results. Is there any idea to consider synergy and interaction between three projects presented just now? Three projects are welcome to answer the question. May I be first? as the youngest sure. and uh, from my side, from our university side, I can say that uh, our university and our partners from Uzbekistan, also from Europe, we are open to make a collaboration and discuss some issues uh, to even, uh, as I mentioned before, we are going to uh, make to propose a new uh, proposal new project for new call of erasmus so welcome all uh, we can join our uh, forces to make very good project proposal and i hope it will be very successful and if, thank you if i can i thank you for this uh, Professor Nasirov for this uh, introduction. And I think that the project, is, the, for me, it was 
probably is my luck, but it was the first time that I was able to see all the, both these three projects. And I think that they have the common field. It's, it's not only transportation, but we are covered the main aspect of transportation. ITS is more related with the Margo because we devoted mainly in the city, exploiting the opportunities offered by telematics, as well as when we start to investigate the need our, our project was related to the improved safety in the city and the, through, the, 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 through the, the telematics. And I think that in the future, of course, this is, could be an occasion to put in touch us for thinking of other activities. And so it's good, it's good, uh, it, it could be a good result, I think. Thank okay, you. if I may sure. add something. Uh, I'm very glad that I had the opportunity to participate in such kind of event and to meet uh, colleagues I di didn't know so far. And as uh, one colleague already mentioned, I think this is, this, this is good opportunity for us to continue cooperation in the future. Uh, having in mind that uh, we are dealing more or less the same area, not only traffic safety, but uh, tra uh, transportation engineering. So I think this is good opportunity for all of us to continue, as the colleague said, maybe for the next call of uh, Erasmus projects. I hope we'll, we will be in touch uh, after this meeting and to see what is the best way to continue our cooperation in the future. And again, uh, I'm very happy to, that I was able to participate in this meeting. And uh, when it's about us, we are open for uh, further cooperation. Thank you, dear professor. Um, so my my last question goes to the third project, TravSAF. Uh, we have spoken about the results, the sustainability, and what about the challenges? I know uh, the projects that were implemented uh, like during the COVID time have encountered many issues and challenges, but besides the COVID, um, could you please share us which were the main um, challenges you encountered and how you overcame th those issues. Maybe this could be good examples for other projects as well to uh, to consider your uh, practice in, in their project. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, thank you, Vard. Uh, I will answer on this question. Uh, we have already mentioned in the video about uh, our challenges uh, during the project lifetime, not only uh, about uh, coronavirus and other, let's say, usual obstacles we had, uh, uh, slowness during uh, financial uh, documentation and also during uh, uh, public uh, procurement procedures, uh, we also had some obstacles. But uh, uh, since we have a, a very uh, good experience uh, in Erasmus Plus project, uh, projects, uh, capacity building in higher education, we had also uh, such kind of problems problems uh, between other projects. So uh, we overcame the, those uh, obstacles and those challenges very, very easy because we have uh, good experience uh, how we can manage uh, and resolve uh, these uh, kind of problems. That was my <laughs> answer. Thank you. Thank you very much. I guess it was a very productive session and in the frames of further collaboration as well, that three projects might have synergies and um, work on a proposal for the upcoming call. I would uh, like to remind all of you that you may meet after this session at the launch of AR Meet, so you can discuss for further collaboration and also attendees are invited to meet the project participants, team members, and discuss further uh, possibilities of collaboration. I would like to thank all of you and wish you a very nice continuation of the day. And since we have no questions and no, either in the chat or question and answer section, I would like to thank all of you and end the session for the moment. Thank you and goodbye. Thank, thank you very much. Thank, thank you very much. much. Goodbye. 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 Goodbye.